What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 9, Problem 24 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Jura Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 9 is all about center of mass and linear momentum. And specifically, Question 24 is about the uh, classic chair prank, where one person is about to sit down and another person pulls the chair out from under them, making the person fall to the ground. We are asked to find the impulse and average force of that person when they hit the ground. So we know that impulse, denoted by a J, is equal to the change in momentum, which is equal to the mass times the change in velocity. And we can expand that to say mass times velocity final minus velocity initial. And since the person is starting standing up with no downward velocity, or their initial velocity is zero, so this is just going to be equal to mass times the final velocity. Now we are given the mass but not the final velocity, so we need to solve for that a different way. And we can do that using conservation of energy. So conservation of energy states that the initial kinetic energy plus the initial potential energy is equal to the final kinetic energy plus the final potential energy. And since we know that the person does not start with any initial velocity in the downward direction, there is no initial kinetic energy. And since the person's hitting the ground, theoretically when they hit the ground, they should not have any more potential. So our final potential is also zero. And so we can rewrite this to say potential energy initial is equal to kinetic energy final. And we can expand that and say mgh is equal to one half mv final squared. And now we see our final velocity here is what we need to solve for up here. So all we have to do is solve for the final velocity. And as you can also see, there is mass on both sides, so we can cross those out. And we can multiply by 2 on either side, so we get 2gh is equal to vf squared. And all we have to do is square root either side, so vf is going to be equal to the square root of 2gh. And we have all those values, so we can substitute them in. And when you put that into your calculator, you should get about 3.1 meters per second. And now we can replug that back into our impulse equation. And we have J equals MV final, which is our mass is 70, and our velocity final we just found to be 3.1. And that is approximately 2.2 times 10 to the second Newton seconds. And then for part B, we are asked to find the force, and force is impulse over time. So force equals impulse over our change in time, which we just found our impulse, 2.2 times 10 to the second, and our time we are given in the problem as 0 0.082 seconds. And when you plug that in your calculator, you should get 2.7 times 10 to the third newtons. All right, so that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.